is that speaking in agreement with or is it speaking against it's literally speaking against who he is and what he's doing in the earth worshiping him as God is the ultimate speaking in agreement with him the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Luke chapter 4 verse 8 for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve should we do this yes. if you are a follower of Jesus like a lot of people would say they are should we do what Jesus is saying here yes. we should worship the Lord our God and him only should we serve mm -hmm. well I have come to know the Holy Ghost as the Lord my God God in the earth today you've heard me say it over and over the Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words you got a problem with that I've come into that knowledge say come into that knowledge, into that knowledge. it wasn't readily available I had to come into it mm -hmm. over the years I'm no novice I've been around a while mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today yeah. And we get to walk with him and I had to come into that knowledge of how to walk with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today are you here well if I've come to know him as the Lord my God and that he is the Lord my God in the earth Jesus said that I should shalt worship the Lord my God and him only serve what would you do if you knew him as God you would worship him and serve him well if you come to find out that the Holy Ghost he is God say the Holy Ghost he is God where is he today he's in the earth because this is his dispensation and you come to find that out what should you do according to Jesus worship the Lord your God and serve him well, people get mad at me over that but the fact is if they're getting mad over me at worshiping the Holy Ghost and serving the Holy Ghost as God then they don't know him as God mm -hmm. that's part of what we do here is we're introducing you to him well if you knew him as God you'd worship him yes. and I've often said if you begin to worship him you would know him as God you'd know him greater in that capacity say if I begin worshiping him I will know him as God greater and greater it'll do something to you in fact you have no idea where this will take you you'll you have no idea where this will change you how this will change you when you begin doing it but it will change you can you testify to that mm -hmm. when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost as God the Lord your God it begins to change you transforms you into something you weren't before mm -hmm. you become different well one thing you become that you weren't before is a Holy Ghost worshiper isn't that true yes I'm telling you this does things not only to you it goes out and does things for you things that couldn't be done for you until you began worshiping the Lord your God and serving him I guarantee those things will be great because they're of him some of the things I'm gonna say tonight may seem heavy-handed but frankly the words heavy-handed often it says if you do this I will do this if you don't do this then he won't do that mm 
so when i'm saying certain things tonight it may seem heavy handy heavy handed but it's right in line with the word proverbs chapter 1 verse 23 turn you at my reproof behold i will pour out of my spirit unto you and i will make known my words to you turn you at my reproof do this and i will do that is this true yeah. so i'm saying you know if you worship the lord your god you've come to find out that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and you worship him you've turned at some reproof you've turned and he begins to pour out and make known things to you things that you could not know before proverbs chapter 1 verse 23 could you know the things that he was trying to make known to you if you didn't do the first part of the verse yeah. no it, it would be unknown to you but if you turn and you do say if i do if I do. If, if you do he do you get it a lot of people would think this is heavy-handed but i need to preach what i have to preach if you don't worship the holy ghost as the lord your god then you won't get the things that he wants to reveal to you through doing that does that make sense mm -hmm. so there's things on the other side of worshiping him that you can't know it's not for you until you worship him but when you begin to worship him he begins to do things that's why i say you can't know until you begin to do it you won't get this thing he has for you in fact you won't get it but if you do you'll get it i have testimony after testimony of people that as i worship the lord my god i get things that i didn't get before they didn't make sense to me i didn't get it things that you can get by worshiping the lord your god the holy ghost that are not allowed to you that you can't have that you don't have access to and you will never frankly get until you begin worshiping him matthew chapter 12 verse 31 wherefore i say who's saying it jesus, jesus wherefore i say unto you all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men is this good news yes <laughs> yeah but the blasphemy against the holy ghost shall not be forgiven unto men now blasphemy simply means speaking against let's just clear that up because people People hear the word blasphemy and, and they put it off into some religious context mm -hmm. where ooh, let's not even read that verse okay. blasphemy means speaking against we're talking about the Holy Ghost who is a person speaking against the Holy Ghost who is a person mm -hmm. wherefore I say unto you all manner of sin and speaking against shall be forgiven unto men but the blasphemy against the holy ghost shall not be forgiven unto men so speaking against the holy ghost will not be forgiven must read on and whosoever speaks a word against the son of man who would that be jesus. jesus he's talking about himself whosoever speaks a word against the son of man it shall be forgiven him but whosoever speaks against now can you see the speaking against here yes he's literally defining what blasphemy is, right whosoever speaks against the holy ghost it shall not be forgiven him neither in this world say in this world, in this world. neither in the world to come jesus seemed to think it was more important what you did concerning the holy ghost than it was concerning him can you see that in here he said you can blaspheme against me meaning you can speak against me and it will be forgiven but if you speak against the holy ghost you've cut yourself off from forgiveness mm -hmm. who's doing the forgiving is jesus the one doing the forgiving see this is where people 
miss it jesus isn't the one forgiving people jesus is the one who paid for your ability to get forgiveness the holy ghost is the one doing the forgiving the holy ghost is doing is the one who's doing the new birth when you believe on what jesus did jesus seemed to be thinking it was more important what you did and how you treated the holy ghost mm -hmm. than what you did or thought about him himself if you speak against him the holy ghost you can't get to forgiveness are you seeing that why because he's the one who does the forgiving mm -hmm. if i learn to speak not against but in agreement with the holy ghost what is there forgiveness, forgiveness. if you speak against him the holy ghost who is god in the earth today you can't access forgiveness there is no forgiveness or frankly anything else that comes from him can't have it if you're speaking against him here's the point i hope i'm getting you here if you speak against the holy ghost or opposite or contrary to the holy ghost there's no forgiveness because you have to speak in agreement with the holy ghost to get forgiveness if you want healing that comes from the holy ghost what do you have to do speak against the healing of the no you have to speak in agreement with the healing that comes from the holy ghost if you speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost then all things are yours including forgiveness now and forever is it good to know how to speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost that's the point he's trying to bring out here Jesus is saying it now remember Jesus seemed to think and say if you if you're reading that that it was more important how we treated the holy ghost than it was him at the time frankly why who treated him well at the time they crucified him and they were all forgiven right nobody had anything good to say about him peter even denied him i don't know who he is but were they forgiven who did the forgiving it wasn't jesus he paid the price for your forgiveness it was the holy ghost are you here yes. they had to get in line with, with the holy ghost was saying and doing question would not worshiping the Holy Ghost if he is God would not worshiping the Holy Ghost be considered speaking against or not in agreement with if he's God remember Jesus put more emphasis on the Holy Ghost than on himself and if we don't speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost or we don't worship the Holy Ghost that is saying that he's not God mm -hmm. is that speaking in agreement with or is it speaking against it's literally speaking against yes. who he is and what he's doing in the earth mm -hmm. worshiping him as God is the ultimate speaking in agreement with him not worshiping the holy ghost as god could be considered speaking against him because you're not receiving him as he is and by default you're saying that he is not god how far are you going to get with that you can't go as far as you need to go so apart from that acknowledging that the Holy Ghost is God and speaking in agreement with him mm -hmm. aside from that there is no forgiveness but this is good news he will forgive you see a lot of people think okay well the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost like if I ever say anything against him he won't forgive me that's not what we're talking about here is that you can't get forgiveness if you're speaking against him if you're speaking in agreement with him say if I'm speaking in agreement with him, if I'm speaking in agreement with him then forgiveness is available he forgives you you've got on one side no forgiveness and on the other side forgiveness 
speaking against the Holy Ghost is a dead-end street with no forgiveness speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost there's forgiveness as well as all of the other things that he has worshiping him the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with him there is certain forgiveness it's guaranteed so as I'm writing these things down and I said Holy Ghost what do you want me to talk about he says tell them they need to worship me when you worship him he opens things to you that you can't know until you walk through that door worship who worshiping the Holy Ghost the Lord your God he's the living God he's in the earth today and we have things that we're supposed to do and walk through and be changed into that you can't know without it that's why some of you sit there and go well I I don't think yeah you have not worshiped the Lord your God when you begin to worship him he begins to change you so you can see these things and understand them you get it tell them they need to worship me I am God if he's God you should worship him when you begin to worship him you can't even know right now all the things that he's gonna begin to do and he said to me no one has done this no one has come even close to this he's brought this message to many other people but they would not go there they wouldn't do it it's been a while now but about an hour a day I will worship the Holy Ghost I'll get up in the morning it'll be the first thing out of my mouth I say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only and I'll do that I'll continue on in that for about an hour that he's beginning to bring a movement into the earth that shall not cease shall not end until Jesus returns returns from where I'll just ask a simple question where is Jesus returning from not from here you return everybody go yes when Jesus return, returns where is he returning from he's coming from heaven this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven no one would say this has happened yet so where is Jesus in heaven this same Jesus he's going to return return from heaven he's not done it yet and then in Acts chapter 2 we see the Holy Ghost coming into the earth mm -hmm. and so when I say the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today that's what I mean today is the dispensation of the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today mm -hmm. and we have to fulfill everything that the Holy Ghost wants done in the earth before Jesus can return so there's a new manifestation of the Spirit coming and it will come in and through the saying of words like all of his other manifestations come in fact these words I worship you Holy Ghost through the saying of those words you are calling for a new manifestation of the Spirit you're calling for it what do you mean because those words you haven't been using before now you're using them I worship you Holy Ghost and those words are calling if you can hear it for a new manifestation of the Spirit which will ultimately culminate in Jesus returning and remember returning means not here now I hope you can hear this one of the biggest revelations that comes to you when you put the words I worship you Holy Ghost on your lips is that Jesus is not here and people say oh well I don't uh, I don't want that revelation you have to have that revelation for Jesus to return yes. you have to have that revelation that revelation has to be solid in the earth for Jesus to return are you getting this yes. 
use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost will direct you into true worship of the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today so he can begin manifesting himself in the way that he needs to manifest himself before Jesus returns well we can see it's not about you it's not about your abilities it's not about your failures or abilities to do anything it's about him Amen. him who him the Holy Ghost being God in his dispensation in the earth first Corinthians 6 19 says we are to glorify God mm -hmm. in our bodies your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost we're supposed to glorify who in this earth we're glorifying God worshiping God worshiping the Holy Ghost this is not about me it's that I worship the Holy Ghost I hope you can get that he does things for you that he won't do for other people because you worship him he reveals things to you that he won't reveal to other people because you worship him second Peter chapter 1 verse 10 give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if you do if you do these things you shall never fall if you do these things you'll never fall you make your calling and election sure well how do I know that I'm doing it well this comes on you by saying how do I know that I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper because we do it I do it if you do these things you'll never fall the never falling is the promise that comes to you from doing it Am I going to know the never falling if I don't do it? No. I worship you, Holy Ghost. The saying is the doing. How do you know you're a Holy Ghost worshiper? Because you say it and you worship Him with your mouth. Are you getting this? Yes. And you begin to look different. You begin to act different. That enables you to be someone that you couldn't be before. It gives you access to things you couldn't have access to before and it establishes you concretely in this dispensation where the Holy Ghost is God and set you up for the things you're supposed to be and do are you getting this let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people heard this word and as they begin to worship you they shall know new things and new ways says the Spirit of the Lord and I will visit you and I will begin to put my approval on you and take you up into things that you could not know before and I will reveal my ways to you and you shall be a vessel unto me in these latter days so rejoice and be thankful we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you I, worship I thank you, you that you are establishing me in this day and in this hour to be great and to have great ability to overcome all the evil of the world in Jesus name Amen Holy Ghost your God in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today